So Finn, I'm guessing these are your most popular machines. We do see a lot of these in the field. Yeah, this is the Helix uh, technology, which is tried and trusted um, vending that um, everybody knows, everybody's familiar with. But actually these are very cost effective solutions, very low maintenance, very robust. I mean, our oldest machines are over 15 years old now, still working in iron foundries, you know, really rough environments. And who would use this? You mentioned foundries, but it's anybody, isn't it? Well, again, it's any, um, anybody using fast-moving consumables, high-value, high-volume consumables, mm -hmm. whether it's tools, safety wear, grinding discs, mm -hmm. batteries, you name it. If it fits in the machine, you can control it. And I know you've got two different colours here. Why are the different branding? Um, our parent company is Quick Grind, so they have their own branding and we do brand machines for specific customers. This is our own version for Quick Vend. So I think I know the answer, but I'll be interested to learn it from you. Yeah. Why should I vend? Well, the reason <laughs> you vend industrial products is really for the accountability of those items. Obviously, a lot of the tools are very expensive. They might be mission critical items. And also, we not only track to individuals, but we can track to cost centres. Mm -hmm. So if you're a subcontract machinist, you might want to know, more importantly, what tools we used on a specific job, rather than what Joe Reynolds used during his shift. I wouldn't have used many. <laughs> well, I heard that, yes. <laughs> but yeah, no, and, and the other thing to note, I understand if you don't use vending and you implement vending across the board on a shop floor, there's a significant saving for day from day one. Arguably, the machine doesn't cost you anything. Um, payback, I mean, we've had p a return on investment as short as three months. It all depends really on the value of the consumable and also how loose the control is. If you have an open stores, I mean, we could probably easily save 20% on tools and maybe 40, 50% on PPE. Yeah, that's a huge saving. It is, and these machines, they can be acquired on a lease for as little as 30 pounds a week. So for 24 seven, 365 days a year access, you know, it's good value for money. Can we uh, vend a product? Yeah, sure. Everything is controlled through a uh, smart card. So basically the guy would access Select the product, the item vends, and then it goes back to his job, but we've tracked that item. That was straightforward. So you've got traceability, accountability, and it's going to save you money. No brainer, this vending. Exactly. You know, that's probably a relatively low cost item. But to say we can reduce this sort of product by 20 to 40%.